Hello. So, I was asked how I control the temperature in this system. So we'll start off with the heat exchanger. This guy right here. It's a little dirty right now. But basically it's this 8 inch diameter PVC tube. And so there's about 100 feet of 3 quarter inch diameter titanium tubing. It's all coiled up inside of there. These two uh, CCVC lines feed the boiler, so that feeds the temperature control liquid to it. Basically, we just use water as the heat transfer fluid. This pipe here is the inlet, and then we go over here, and that's the outlet. See, it goes over like that, and it goes upstairs, and it connects to my closed loop upstairs. It actually is fed from the sand filters right here. Those two valves. This here is pressure sensor for the sand filters, temperature sensor for the whole system, flow sensor, then we go up here to the closed loop pump, and then where it feeds down, we're actually underneath the tank right here, believe it or not. So, let's follow the CPVC line. It goes all the way over here, it goes behind the skimmers, behind the fresh water tanks, up through here, up through the ceiling, and we go through a couple of rooms here into the equipment room. This is the equipment room with the RO and stuff. This is the boiler. Basically, I run two Munchkin 140,000 BTU boilers. They uh, jog each other, so there's always one in backup in case there's a disaster. This is the manifold for the boilers. I use, uh, basically, these pumps here. They control like the garage temperature and in-floor heating and stuff. This first one right here is for the fish tank. A little rusty, got to clean that. These are the valves for the cooling water. We send cold water through there to cool the system. The PEX pipe goes over and connects to the main system. Those valves right there, that one on the left hand side is to return to the boilers. The other one is the feed, the cold water feed coming from the well water. My well water comes out at 55 degrees, so that's plenty of temperature to cool the whole system down. That's all I use for heating and cooling on this system. Um, Basically, it's very simple. That's the control box or everything right there. Standard off-the-shelf stuff. Um, the wiring goes upstairs to my controller. We'll do the controller in another video. And this here is just a pressure sensor that sends info back to the controller in case there's a problem with the boilers. And that's it.